So the final race of the day is the Classic Trial Maiden. Bit of a contradictory sort of race title. It's a mile and a half for three-year-olds at the top Anaheim Nation for Vinnie Gerrard. Beyond the Grave, Joshua Sutherland, Blind Faith, Craig Allen, Carbon Fibre, Paul Rhodes, Alpery Martin Little, Fast Rest, Matt Cooper, Gilderoy Wild, Padre Hogan, Christopherson, Emblem for Leon Van Rensburg, Sky Surface, Cavallino, for David Robertson, Timberoa McGrew, Matt Cooper, Tom Bombadil for Satyam, Barbary Tan for Jim Murray, Imuda Lover, David Robertson, Highlighted Eyes, Darren Thompson, Not Able for Satyam, and Regal Curtsy for Paul Rhodes, and Tintinara of Walalt for Padre Hogan. That should be field for this one then. In the rain at Yarmouth, away we go, widest on the track, drawn closest to us is Ompre, but it's... Anaheim Nation also wide was quickly away. Some of these wide are going to have to try and cut in to get a better position around this pretty tight looking turn. But Carbon Fibre is up there with the leaders. Regal Kurtz has gone on. Doesn't look like anything was too badly damaged by that turn. It comes up pretty much straight away. And Carbon Fibre and Regal Curtsy are disputing the lead. They're two lengths clear of Beyond the Grave in second, Barbary Town in third, then Blind Faith and Not Able, Fast Rest, on Paris after that one, then Gilderoy Wild and Highlighted Eyes, Tintinara, Valant is next. But it's Regal Curtsy who's got the lead by about half a length to Carbon Fibre in second. Gap of about two lengths or so then to Blind Faith and Barbary Town. Then comes Fast Rest, Beyond the Grave, Not Able, Gilderoy, Wild is next, on Paris is wide on the track, so too is Immuna Lover, Sky Surface, Cavallino, the grey in the same colours as that one is towards the back, and Anaheim Nation is going to have to go past everything to take this one for Vinnie Gerard, but it's Regal Kirchner that's in front, Carbon Fibre is second, Barbary Town is third, then Blind Faith making a forward move, Fast Rest is well placed, then Not Able and Gilderoy Wild, beyond the grey, we're going to need a split on the inside, on Paris going around the outside, Tintinara, Voilant is after that one, Highlighted Eyes is trying to get going, also tucked in on the inside, Inside is Timberara McGrew and struggling towards the back. Christophers and Emblem and some big names out the back. Big name trainer sources out the back at the moment, but it's Regal Curtsy and Carbon Fibre in the lead from Gilderoy Wild in second. In third, sorry, then comes Blind Faith, then Barbary Town and Ombre beyond the grave is after that one as we switch angles and Carbon Fibre just about hits the front. Gilderoy Wild throwing out a big challenge on the outside. Ombre trying to get going. The one that's making eye catching progress is beyond the grave. Barbary Town is still trying to run on, so too. Sky Surface, Cavallino and Tintinara of Wallon. Christophers and Emblem's got work to do. They've got two furlongs to go. And it's Carbon Fibre who's in the lead from Blind Faith in second. Then comes Beyond the Grave is third on three, four. Then Barbary Town, Sky Surface, Cavallino is next. Now Christophers and Emblem's got some open space. Also running on his highlighted eyes as a furlong to go. But Blind Faith is clear. Blind Faith from Beyond the Grave. And Breach and coming next. Then Barbary Town. Blind Faith needs the line to come. Here comes Beyond the Grave and Barbary Town. But it's Blind Faith. Faith holding on, fast finishing Anaheim Nation. Where did that come from? Anaheim Nation takes it. What a win for Vinnie Gerrard's Anaheim Nation. That's the second or third time today I've seen something come from right out the back. And the champion trainer throws down his derby challenger probably with that Anaheim Nation. Cut through the pack and took that one. Pretty spectacular. That's spectacular into day one. Of week two, Anaheim Nation for Vinnie Gerard, the winner. Blind Faith looked all over the winner. Oh, Craig Allen for a rather race was second. Immuna Lover for David Robertson, another one that ran on from the back was third. Highlighted Eyes for Darren Thompson, likewise. And Barbary Town for Jim Murray was fifth. So Vinnie Gerard takes the classic trial made them with a pretty decent performance from Beyond the Grave. I'll be back for more flat racing tomorrow.